as defence attaché Brigadier Rob Ryder as the British ambassador to Germany's military advisor. He's also the official link between the chief of the defence staff and his German counterpart. This week's attacks in Brussels will only fuel the two countries' deepening security ties. That clearly involves uh, a high level of cooperation between the intelligence services, which I'm obviously not going to talk about here, but uh, it's something we continually try and improve. And uh, we also exchange lots of ideas on the method of operations uh, of Daesh and any other terrorist organisations. Tension with Moscow is also prompting a potential new training relationship with Germany. As British Army field units prepare to leave the country by 2020, there's been some fresh thinking. It could mean soldiers continuing to train in places like Senelaga and Bergen-Hohne. There is an army training review going on at the moment. The German Command Field Army he is meeting with the army training team uh, to uh, give some input into that review. And that review may look at uh, leaving some form of footprint based uh, probably from Senelaga to Bergen-Hohne in a training and uh, uh, experimentation basis. The Army values both training areas and has invested heavily in battle simulators at Senelaga. How many personnel a possible future joint German-British training role might involve is unclear. The Army is also considering the long-term storage in Germany of heavy armour and equipment. Britain already runs a climate-controlled facility at Ayrshire Barracks in Mönchengladbach. We see Germany we, we, uh, as a key partner, as a tier one nation now. Uh, we see similar threats from a recidivist Russia to Daesh, and we see this relationship functioning over the next 10, 20, 30 years. London and Berlin's defence partnership is evolving fast. A joint German Royal Engineer unit based in Minden bridges rivers with M3 rigs. It now often supports America's most senior army commander in Europe. Lieutenant General Ben Hodges, com usurer, has been using those rigs anywhere from uh, you know, the Weser to um, you know, the Danube. Next year, British and German soldiers could be operating together in Afghanistan. The Germans have expressed interest in working at the UK-led Afghan Officer Academy. There's now a list of potential German-British joint missions from northern Iraq to Mali and Libya. Germany has also expressed a great interest in undertaking more wider international responsibilities. We have lots of common interests, we have lots of common security threats, and so it makes sense that we cooperate together and coordinate our activity together. Germany's and Britain's armies, navies and air forces increasingly share the same equipment. The relationship could be mutually beneficial to each country's defence industries. The hope is that the relationship will also strengthen each other's armed forces. Rob Olver, Forces News, Berlin.